The Dominican Republic and Haiti, two countries on one island, but they could hardly be different. While the Dominican Republic is one of the most prosperous countries in the Caribbean, with a pleasant standard of living and its popularity as a tourist destination, the exact opposite is the case in the other part of the island. Haiti is one of the poorest countries in the world, the standard of living is extremely low, and the country is characterized by violence, gang terror and diseases such as cholera. Since the independence of both countries, relations have always been strained. While the government of the Dominican Republic has long sought to ease tensions, the focus is now on isolation. In addition to a massive border fence modeled on the fence between the US and Mexico, the country is now even planning an almost 4 meter high wall. But how could the two countries develop so differently, what triggered the tensions between them and why is the Dominican Republic cracking down so hard right now? We look at all of these questions in today's video. Enjoy! The reasons for the different development of the two countries go back several centuries in colonial history. Initially, the entire island of Hispaniola was under Spanish rule, as the name suggests. It was not until 1697 that Spain had to cede the western third to France and the colony of Saint-Domingue was established. But at that time, exactly the opposite of today's poverty was the case. Through the production of sugar, coffee and cotton, the colony grew to become the richest French colony. However, the wealth was based on cruel slave labor. So eventually there were more and more slave revolts and in fact the slaves were able to free themselves from French rule. Thus in 1804 Haiti became the first country in Latin America to gain its independence. But the newly won independence did not only have advantages. For diplomatic recognition France demanded extremely high reparation payments. And in addition Haiti waged a cruel and costly war against its island neighbor conquering the entire island. However, the economy was down and there were few economic prospects for the country. In 1844, moreover, the Dominican Republic was able to gain independence from Haiti, which further weakened the country. Both countries were characterized by coups, rebellions and political unrest in the following decades. But the Dominican Republic managed to stabilize itself from the middle of the 20th century and create a semi-democratic system. The reason for the difference in the development of both countries was also the social structure. While the Dominican Republic consisted of a relatively homogeneous society of Spanish origin, a large part of Haiti's society was made up of former slaves from various ethnic groups. As a result, there were repeated power struggles between the ethnic groups, which is why no lasting stable political system could be established in Haiti. In addition, the country has always been affected by terrible natural disasters. Hurricanes and earthquakes occur again and again, leaving hundreds of thousands of people homeless and destroying much of the country's infrastructure. And all these causes are the breeding ground for violence and gang crime. For example, as recently as 2021, the head of state of Haiti was shot in his bedroom. And this is also the reason why more and more Haitians are fleeing to the neighboring country in search of protection, security and economic prospects. In recent decades, the Dominican Republic has become one of the most popular tourist destinations, especially for Europeans, and the country has one of the fastest growing economies in Latin America. For example, the economy is now 10 times larger than that of Haiti. For a long time, the government of the Dominican Republic tolerated Haitians, who often work as the cheapest labor in the country, and also contributed to the economic growth of the country. But attitudes changed as Haiti continued to decline. The country was hit pretty hard in 2010 by the worst earthquake in the history of North and South America, which killed an estimated 200,000 to 500,000 people and left millions homeless. Since then, anarchy has reigned in large parts of the country and more and more gangs have taken control of the broken country. The member of a charity organization describes the situation as follows. To describe daily life in Haiti, you have to resort to war vocabulary. The country then reached another peak in the spiral of violence in 2021 with the assassination of the president in his own bedroom. 
So the government of the Dominican Republic, fearing the violence would spill over into its own country, reacted quickly and sent the military to the border. And it was supported with armored vehicles and drones. In addition, construction of a wall to reinforce the border began. The bulwark is to be nearly 4 meters high and extend to 164 kilometers. In addition, the wall will be secured with 70 watchtowers, cameras with facial recognition software, motion sensors and drones. The wall's groundbreaking last year led to international outrage, but the government is determined to see the project through. So the Dominican Republic continues to seal itself off and Haiti will sink even further into chaos as a result. So that was with the video. If you enjoyed this video, I also recommend you my last video about the Falkland Islands. See you in this video and I say bye.